Hello, today I'm going to show you the quick order form. The quick order form link is located at the top of the Rolly page. And keep in mind that you need to sign in in order to use the quick order form. So once you sign in, you can see the link here and all you do is click on it and it takes you to the order form. You can see your billing information here, your contact information here, and shipping information you can access by clicking on this magnifying glass and this shows you all of the shipping locations in your account. This is for information only, you do not need to fill this out. So all you need to do really is start ordering. So what you do is type in an item number into the box. You can hit the magnifying glass or the enter key and the item will populate. You can see the unit price in total. Let's say that I would like to order 10 of these. All I do is just update the quantity. Click inside the box and the total updates. I would like to order some more products but I don't have any more rows left. That's okay. I can add a row or add five rows by clicking on either one of these links. And then I would like to order grommets but I don't know exactly what grommets I want. If I try to type in a partial item number and hit the enter key I get an invalid entry. That's because the item number must be exact. If I don't know it that's okay. Just start with a clear field. Click on the magnifying glass. Type in what I know and search and that's what I want. I want the antique copper nomad grommets. Select those and if I don't know any part of the item number, that's okay. All I need to do is click on the magnifying glass and let's search for thread. Just type in thread, hit the search, find the product that I want, click on it, and it loads. Now one thing I want you to make note of is that uh, the prices here will not show the quantity price breaks. They are applied, but you know, you won't see them in the quick order form. So I, I want to demonstrate that. I'm going to put 20 in here and you see that the unit price did not change even though there is a quantity price break. Don't worry, you will see that in the cart. So let's do that. Let's, let's get ready and go to the cart. So we're going to add these to our cart and once we do that we are taken to the actual cart and as you see the unit price has decreased to $25 and from here we can do a few things. We can decrease the number of items in our cart so I'm going to change that to 2 instead of 20 and if I decide I don't want this thread I can hit on this trash can here and remove it. I can continue shopping if I like by clicking on this button it will take me back to the quick order form or I can do use the drop down to go to any category or I can always type in something into the search field and continue shopping but I would like to check out so I just proceed to check out I enter in my billing information a lot of it auto populates from my account so a lot of times you won't need to do anything other than choose your shipping address and then save and proceed and then we go to the payment page here you just select your method of shipment whether you would like to pay with a credit card or bill me if you have terms with us uh, type in a PO number uh, comment and place your order and that is it you will get a confirmation page and an email thank you